Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. Pretty much every 48 hours, we've got a piece of content going out to help you with your training business. So don't stay stuck. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get in contact with me, there's two ways you can do that. You can visit the Calendly link in the description of this video, book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I can answer some of your questions. Or you can just send me a direct uh, email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So today I want to talk about the disadvantages of working solely with pro footballers, pro footballers slash pro soccer players, right? Now, I get asked questions on a regular basis about, about this type of topic, right? What are the advantages of working with pros? What are the disadvantages how can I start working with, with professionals? Okay, now the reason I made this video is not to show you how you can start working with, with professional athletes, but the, the dis disadvantages and cons about working with them, right? I've got currently a couple of clients that I'm working with who do work with pros, and what they have is they have a couple of struggles that they, they go through with their business on a yearly basis that affects them, affects their revenue, it affect, affects the business, and ultimately it affects how committed those type of uh, clientele uh, stay within the program. So the first disadvantage of solely focusing on working with with professional athletes is it, your business becomes very seasonal and what do i mean by seasonal right seasonal is pretty much when the only time you will be able to train these type of clientele or these type of clients is when they are out of season right so when once their season is finished which is normally and typically in the summer when they're, they're in the off season and they have maybe a three to four, four week break, that is when they might be able to work with you either one on one or in a small, small group setting. Okay. Now during the, the rest of the season, it's going to be very difficult for those type of clients to commit to training with you longer. And that is because most of them are very busy people. Either they're busy in their in their personal life, or they're busy as a pro, being a professional. Okay, they've got training that they need to attend. They also have um, video analysis that they have to go to. Right, once they're in season, okay, pretty much it becomes impossible for them to do one on one or or small group training with you. Okay, so your business can then become very seasonal in the sense that the only time you will be generating new revenue and new income will be when they are out of season. Okay, so that is the first disadvantage with working solely and focusing solely on working with professional uh, soccer players as clients. Right, second one is you can't get them on long-term commitments okay so this really goes back to my first point in that they can't commit to long term right so typically what i've what i've seen with a lot of coaches is that they will make a lot of money running the the odd sessions so they might do one or two sessions with these clients and that's it right because after that the client then starts their pre-season training with their with their team and then pretty much there's no time to do one-on-one -on -one training with you so you yes you can probably charge a premium for for the service because it's quite a high paying type of client but ultimately you can't get them on free six or 12 month commitments because of their their schedule and their schedule becoming very unflexible right once they're in season it's pretty much a no-go so which means that you after one or two or three sessions that you have with that client, you have to then go and find new clients to work with. Okay? Because though they then become very busy and they can't commit to your training, right? 
I've seen this with clients I've, I'm working with that once they're, they're, um, the, the pro players that they're working with go, go back into season, they don't see them until the next summer, pretty much. Okay? Because during the season, they don't have that time off to really do any one-on-one -on -one or, or personal training with you. Okay, So number one, it becomes very seasonal. Number two, you can't get these type of clients on long-term commitments. And then number three, it ultimately, and this is something a lot of trainers don't know, okay, but there are clauses within teams or clubs, contracts with these players that states that when they are in season, they aren't allowed to train with anyone that is outside of their club, okay? So that pretty much stops you working with them because if you get caught, then you can be taken to court and they can they can sue you for they can either sue the client or they that client will sue you whichever whichever way it is but you will get into you could get into trouble working with them right so a lot of players have these clauses in their contracts that states that once they are in season with their teams they aren't allowed to train with anyone outside of the club without authorization from the club okay and the reason why most teams do that is because they want to protect that player to make sure they're not being overworked or burnt out with someone else and also it keeps all their training in-house so the clubs are being in control of the development of that player and they don't want anyone that is outside of, of that club working with that player. Now, once they come out of season and it's off season, then they are pretty much free to work with anyone they want. But once it comes in season, most players now have contracts and clauses in those contracts that states that they aren't allowed to work with anyone who is not part of that club or that hasn't had of authorization from the club to, to work with them okay so again that pretty much limits you being able to work with that client during the season okay so if you want more help with this if you are currently a coach and you you do work with pros and you want to transition or you want to change your business model because you're noticing that you're doing really well during the, the summer and then once summer finishes right, your business is going down in terms of income and revenue, get in contact with me, love to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with you, where we can jump on Zoom, I can learn more about your business, ask you some specific questions with regards to your business, and also I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to do that, you want to just send me a, a direct email, you can do that as well to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right, I make it a mission every single day to respond to coaches who have questions or have doubts with their business and want help. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.